Did Kate Middleton have severe morning sickness during all three of her pregnancies? Kate, Duchess of Cambridge is someone who has lived out motherhood in front of the whole world. She is currently married to Prince William, and the couple has three children together. However, while Kate's life seems glamorous from the outside, the truth is that she still suffers from health problems like everyone else. In fact, the Duchess of Cambridge has been known for having difficulties during her pregnancies. It has been reported that she often suffered from severe morning sickness. Since not everyone is aware of Kate's health history, some fans might be wondering whether this was something she went through with every pregnancy or not. Kate Middleton has opened up about having hyperemesis gravidarum. Morning sickness is a normal thing to experience during pregnancy. However, Kate has suffered from hyperemesis gravidarum, an extreme form of morning sickness. According to the American Pregnancy Association, it is characterized by severe nausea, vomiting, weight loss, and electrolyte disturbance. Unlike regular morning sickness, hyperemesis gravidarum does not go away after the first trimester. It also causes severe dehydration and keeps one from being able to keep food down. The Duchess of Cambridge recently talked about her experience with hyperemesis gravidarum on the Happy Mum, Happy Baby podcast. She shared that it was tough for both her as well as the people around her to deal with. It was definitely a challenge, she said. William didn't feel like he could do much to help. It's hard for everyone to see you suffering. Did Kate Middleton experience severe morning sickness during all three pregnancies? Unfortunately for Kate, she did not just go through hyperemesis gravidarum during one pregnancy. Rather, she suffered from it during all three of her pregnancies. As a result, Middleton revealed that she was generally not the happiest of pregnant people. However, the experiences with hyperemesis gravidarum taught Middleton a lot about her body and how to handle severe pain. It was through hyperemesis that I learned the power of the mind over the body because I had to try everything to help get me through it, she said, noting that she learned how to get through the pain with hypnobirthing, which includes things like meditating and relaxation techniques. Will Kate Middleton and Prince William have a fourth child? Fans are always speculating about possible pregnancies within the royal family. Since last year, Rumors of Middleton being pregnant have been appearing all over the tabloids. However, whether the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will have a fourth child or not is still up in the air. Sources seem to say that the couple are open to having another kid, especially since the ones they have now get along very well with each other. An insider shared, they love playing together and being creative. Painting, baking, and building things are all activities they enjoy, and now that Louis a bit older, he gets involved too. Many fans believe that a baby is in the cards for Kate and Prince William to the point where betting sites are seeing a lot of bets for a pregnancy announcement from the Cambridges sometime in 2020. On the other hand, some fans think that it is unlikely that Kate and Prince William will have another kid. After all, Kate went through very tough pregnancies, and the couple is also hands-on parents to three young children. It would be difficult for Kate to go through another painful pregnancy and then take care of another newborn soon after. However, of course, at this point, it is hard for anyone to know for sure whether there will be another addition to the Cambridge family or not.